Hey everyone, as you can see, I got my H100 replaced and I did check it out and with a Moldis connector and it seems to be working fine, no buzzing noise, no clicking noise, no anything like that. You can hear the water flowing through it. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but my Coolit, uh, the other ones that I had before, did do the same thing and worked perfectly. So hopefully this one will work perfectly well. And I do know some of you guys have been, you know, commenting that why try out a, a product who which already broken down on you well the thing is i already as i already lot i've been reading a lot of good comments uh rev comments review about it and um, i just want to try it out one more time before i actually give my full opinion about it just because a product breaks down on you doesn't mean it's a bad product just want to you know make sure one extra time that uh, it is what it is if it's true what people are saying in the reviews and all that anyways when this thing broke down uh, not this one but the other one uh, broke down uh, i thought that uh, well it tested out with the v8 on the other uh, products for example um, the rampage and uh, my i7 930 30k uh, it seems to be working fine at first but uh, two days after that uh, on a sunday on a Sunday morning, on a Sunday, but um, my uh, system for some reason had uh, problems starting up. It uh, took my, mo my uh, computer between uh, five and ten minutes to start up. You know the Windows logo where it's uh, you know going together. It uh, took about five to ten minutes. And anyways, I restarted the computer, went into the BIOS, and the BIOS for some reason had delay when I was going through the chapters. Uh, I did a clear mouse, see if it was that by any choice, and it wasn't. I check out, uh, tested out the RAMs, it wasn't that, and the hard drives as well, it wasn't that at all. Um, so I sent it back my uh, motherboard and CPU and told them that uh, the H100 might have damaged the motherboard and CPU in case of overheating or something, you know. But they did say in response that uh, the CPU and model, well, the CPU have a cooling, you know, a temperature where it shuts down the system but, and did say that the CPU will never catch any damage by overheating like that, you know, but seriously, on some occasion it, they do get damaged, even that it do have a limit on, you know, how hot it can get. But I do still have some suspicion, but they did test out the motherboard and did test out the CPU and they did say that there's nothing wrong with it but i still have my suspicion and i need some um, thermal paste before i can actually do any testing on it um, when i did send it back i forgot to mention that two of the pins for uh, two of the lock mechanism for the graphic cards broke off when i uh, took out the graphic card which is a bad thing and it did say that i used force on it but seriously to lock those graphic cards, I did have to use some little force to actually uh, get the graphic cards out of the case. So the lock mechanism of the ASUS boards is not as good as you know on the EVGA boards where you just press in the, where there's a little spring and you just press in. It's, it's a really good lock mechanism that is on those boards, even though that it looks great and all that. Anyways, um, I wasn't wasn't fully satisfied with um, with the service I got from ProShop, so it might be. Have been might going to be the last time I'm going to be uh, using uh, ProShop for uh, expensive hardware that is like motherboards and uh, CPU and graphic cards. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for upcoming videos about the Cosmos 2. <laughs>